Hi, I'm Penny Carlson, and welcome to Topics in Digital Photography, a new kind of online learning experience at Rutgers. In this class, I'm going to teach you how to become a better photographer. The main thing that we'll focus on in this class is how to take control of your camera and photo editing skills. You're going to learn what all the dials and buttons on your camera do, and you're going to learn how things like ISO, shutter speed, and aperture interact together so that you can take the kind of picture that you want to take. I'll also teach you how to correct or enhance photos using either Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom and Photoshop. I may introduce you to some other software, but the Adobe Suite is the only product line that you'll have to use. This is an interactive how-to photography class. I'm a great fan of learning how to do things via YouTube videos. And I've used YouTube to teach myself how to do everything from refinishing my deck to fixing a leaky faucet. I thought higher ed could take a lesson from the easy style used on YouTube. So I'm teaching the course in that fashion. Each week you'll have an assignment that you have to complete. I'll post a video that'll show you how to do that assignment. The course will stress the how-to aspects of photography more than it will photographic styles, artists, and composition. Though I do have a lecture on composition. The course is designed for students who don't know how to use an advanced camera and don't have photo editing skills. If you're already a great photographer and an expert at Photoshop, you might find that the course is a little bit basic. But in the past, students that were good photographers coming into the class have told me that they enjoyed the class and learned a few new techniques. So you're welcome to take the class and you'll probably enjoy showing your work off to your fellow classmates via Flickr. Though this is an online course, it's very interactive. If you've taken an online course before, you've probably interacted with students in the class via discussion forums. Well, we'll also use social media. Every student will need to open a Flickr account and we'll have a group for the class. You'll post your assignments to the Flickr group so that you can share your work with your classmates. Occasionally, we may have optional meet together sessions where you can meet your fellow classmates and we'll work on a specific skill. But if you can't meet up on campus, don't worry. Any meet together sessions will be totally optional. One of the requirements for this class is that you have a camera that works in manual mode. You don't necessarily need a DSLR. If your camera has a mode dial like this one right here, it'll work for the class. Some newer cameras like this one have a virtual mode dial. And they'll work just fine. Your camera phone probably won't work. So camera phones have gotten a lot better over the last few years and have some manual functions. To my knowledge, none of them will let you change your aperture at this point in time. So if you have a cell phone that you think will work, come speak to me and we'll look at it and see if it'll work for the class. The other thing you're going to need is access to Adobe Photoshop. Now if you're on campus, you can use any of the computing labs and they have Adobe Photoshop CS6, which is fine. Most of my videos were shot using CS6 as of the making of this video. The other thing you can do is subscribe to the cloud, and I'll send you information on that. Now, as of the making of this video, it was $9.99 a month for the photography tools in the Creative Cloud, uh, but you have to subscribe for a full year. Now, if you're really a broke college student and you can't get to the labs on campus that much, you can get a one month free subscription to the cloud. So if you're going to go that route, wait to subscribe, get your free subscription until we start using Photoshop. It won't take you through the full semester, but if you maybe have a friend who's in this class, both of you could do the one month free subscription and use each other's computers. We'll be using Rutgers eCollege in this class. So most of you probably use Sakai, some of you probably use eCollege. You 
will be able to get onto eCollege as a student who's taking this class. As I mentioned before, you'll need to set up a Flickr account and we'll post our assignment photos to a Flickr group that I create and that you'll need to join. I'll walk you through how to do that in a different video. The other thing you're really going to need for this class is a good work ethic. Online courses can be easy to forget about because you don't have to go to class. I find that if I don't give students assignments pretty much every week, that they don't engage. So you'll have something due almost every week. The class runs from Sunday to Saturday, and I have an assignments for the week page that's posted for each week of the class. So every Sunday, go into the assignments for the week, check and see what's going to be due during the week, and get it in. It's easy to get an A in this course if you do your assignments on time and follow directions. The easiest way to not do so in, well in this course, or even to fail, is to not get your assignments in on time. Even though the course is online, I work at Rutgers, and I'm in Martin Hall on the Cook campus almost every day. So sometimes the online learning style works pretty well and you can go through things at your own pace, there may be something that's tripping you up and I'd be able to show you how to do that particular thing very quickly. So if you're having problems with a particular assignment, stop by my office. I love to talk photography. So come by and see me, really. All right, I hope you have a lot of fun in this class. I know I have a great time teaching it. See you next session.